Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come out here and talk about this whole Bow Wow Jermaine Dupri drama, okay? So if you guys do not know, Jermaine Dupri, um, he was getting interviewed the other day. And basically during that interview, he stated that he helped to create 106 and Park. He said that he created it basically for Bow Wow because there was nowhere for somebody of Bow Wow's age and stature to really go. The white folks were holding down TRL. So he went to Stephen Hill and he had a meeting with them about creating 106 and Park. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip really quick. 106 and Park was created by me. I created the show for Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. I was watching MTV mm -hmm. and MTV had TRL. Mm -hmm. And they was catering to NSYNC. They was catering to Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. And anything white that was coming out that was pop, they was allowing these kids to scream and holler at them. And I'm like, yo, we, we don't have nothing for black people. Like, where's the black kids that love music? Why don't they have a show like this? So I call Stephen Hill and I say, yo, I got an artist. We need to make a show just like uh, TRL. He said, what's the artist? And I said, his name is Bow Wow. Of course, he was like, I don't know. You know, everybody challenges what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mind you, they wasn't going to put Bow Wow on TRL like that because he was a rapper. He was a black little young boy rapping, but he also was 12 years old. Nobody on TV was 12 years old anywhere creating this type of pandemonium, right? I went to Stephen Hill and I'm like, yo, we need this show. We need this show. We need a show on BET that shows black artists like this. All right. So you guys just saw what Jermaine Dupri had to say. Um, he was on the podcast called Goats and the Underdogs. So once he said that the clip went viral and all of a sudden Bow Wow comes out and he starts going in on JD. This is what Bow Wow wrote. He says JD and Create 106 in Park stop the cap. Stephen Hill, Rick Grimes and all the great people in the BET office and staff created that show. All I did was capitalize off of what was off of what they created and made it mine. I would know I'm Mr. 106 in Park. I would never take away from someone's creativity. So when he wrote that, um, the brat just couldn't take it anymore. The brat went off. So I'm going to read to you guys what the brat said. She says, at Shad Moss, you really on some bullshit right now. Now, you know, I got all the receipts and know the whole story a lot, a lot. Don't do this. Respect the legend. Respect the cultural icon. Res respect the person who made your career what it is. I'm asking you to now please stop. I'm sorry, Adjermaine Drupri. I cannot be silent about this shit any longer. Then she goes on to say this. Man, what the F? I really don't have time or patience for this shit, but I got both today. Bob, what I can't let you do is discredit my big brother, J.D., who you caught dad for many years cuz that's pretty much the role he get that's pretty much the role that you gave him and instead of saying hell no he rocked with it you are being so rude and disrespectful to the person who believed in you nurtured you made you a complete star wrote all your hits accepted the challenge when Snoop brought you to him he has never done anything to you but help i ain't finna let you drag the most non-confrontational person who loved and cared for you and spoiled your ass for years he isn't and never would discredit BET execs. He discussed creating 106 before it was created so black people could have our own TRL. No cap. If this is what you want to do, let's fucking go. Pull up, little nigga, with your disrespectful ass. So ungrateful. So you could just hear the upset and pain in the brat's voice. So this is what I wrote on Instagram. I said the arrogance of little Bow Wow never ceases to amaze me. This is why he will always be seen as a man child. Why is it so hard for some of our people to respect those who paved the way for them and to pay homage? There's no reason for him to be going out his way to disrespect Jermaine. I'm glad the brat checked him. So that's what I had to say. And a few people were saying, well, T, no, you're wrong. He's basically calling out Jermaine because Jermaine's trying to take other people's credit. If you watch that interview, Jermaine was not trying to diminish anybody else's credit. He's saying he came up with the idea and he brought it to Stephen Hill. He brought it to BT 
of course, Jermaine didn't do everything, but Jermaine has come up with so many ideas over the years, and he does not get the respect and the credit that he deserves. And for me, I think the reason why the brat and people like me are just tired of it is we have watched Bow Wow for years disrespect this man. And I don't know how much I have paid attention to it, but Bow Wow has gone out his way to constantly throw shade at Jermaine, clown Jermaine, pick on Jermaine, and it's just not a good look at this point. He's doing too much, especially being that Jermaine just tries to ignore him. If you guys remember on Grown Up Hip Hop four years ago, uh, Jermaine had to basically leave Bow Wow off the roster when the So-So Def were having a big reunion. He has to leave Bow Wow off the roster because Bow Wow's attitude is just so negative. And if he doesn't get the reception that he's looking for, he will turn it all around and blame Jermaine. Y'all go ahead and watch this clip. So yeah, I got the paperwork for the tour and um, everybody name on there. I saw Anthony Hamilton, I saw x -Gate. I saw Jagged Edge, I saw Lil Jon. Young Bloods, Bone Crusher going? Yeah, everybody. Going. I saw Bone Crusher, but I ain't see Bow name on there. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't put Bow yet. Stop the brush. What? <laughs> no. Oh my God. He gonna have an attitude about that? I don't care about that. Shit. <laughs> what you mean you haven't invited Bow to be on this tour? Bow was one of So So Def's biggest artists. Even though me and Bow ain't talked to each other since our little incident or our little falling out, Bow gotta be on this tour. This is an older, kind of older audience. It's like not Bow Wow age group. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. they don't scream for him like he used to the people screaming. He ain't gonna like it. He gonna get mad and say something crazy and make it look like it ain't popping. And then that. And like it's your fault. Yeah, we, ain't, we can't have this. Oh, I can't wait to see what happened with this. All right, so like I said, that was four years ago. Now, a year ago, you had Fat Joe, Snoop Dogg, Diddy, and JD. They were all on, you know, Instagram Live. They were doing some type of live stream together. And Diddy was basically saying he had way more hits than JD, and he was playing music. And so basically Diddy's like, oh, you know, you don't have no hits that would ever top any of my music. And I guess JD wasn't prepared. He didn't have any music. I don't think he knew this was going to be a bootleg versus. And so what does Bow Wow do? Instead of coming and having his mentors back and saying, because we all know, sorry, you know, Puffy definitely had some hits back in the day. Diddy, whatever he calls himself. he's He definitely made some hits. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to take that from him. But JD made hits as well. And I think JD has just as many, if not more, than Bad Boys. I could be wrong, but JD made a lot of radio-friendly pop hits. He worked with a lot of groups. He put a lot of people on from Escape to The Brat to Criss Cross to Bow Wow, uh, Jagged Edge. I mean, the list goes on, right? And so instead of Bow Wow coming to the stream and having his mentors back, he, he writes in there, you know, he just tries to be disrespectful. He writes in there and he says, don't matter, JD wasn't ready, JD gotta know. It's like he's always throwing shots at JD. It's just weird. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Hey, no, don't don't, play, don't with play with me. This nigga's in don't the background play. that said JD play a song. So I'm gonna ask you, do you got any one R&B record that's better than this? Oh, what? We got one. Anything? What? We got one out of JD. We got one. We got one. <laughs> what? I can't hear it. Turn it up. This is my confession. Stop, stop, stop. It would destroy your what? entire R&B catalog. Yo. And ain't none of them. And ain't crazy? none of them. What? I know. I. All right. So you guys just saw that. So like I said, that was a year ago. Now, eight months ago, because y'all know I keep receipts here. So when I write stuff, I'm not just writing it just to be writing stuff. I'm writing because I watch people's patterns and how they behave. Now, eight months ago, Bow Wow went viral because he was saying that he regretted signing to JD and that he should have just stayed signed to Snoop Dogg, which made no sense because, again, we were all there. I think we were like in, you know, junior high at the time or elementary when Snoop Dogg bought Little Bow Wow onto the Arsenio Hall show. And, you know, he rapped. It was cute, but OK. Like Snoop was in a whole different world. He was gang banging, smoking weed, running around with bitches. He, Death Row was not the place for a damn six year old or however the hell old Bow Wow was. So it made sense that Snoop and Suge Knight brought Bow Wow to J.D., 
JD was more kid friendly. He had success with Criss Cross, you know, and they wanted to look out for Bow Wow and his mother. So it made sense for them to take him down to So So Death. And JD turned him into a mega star. Bow Wow was one of my little sister's like favorite rappers at the time. You know, she was a huge Bow Wow fan, huge Little Romeo fan. I have pictures of my oldest son literally watching 106 in Park, and he's holding on to, like, the TV stand, and he's dancing, and Little Bow Wow's on the screen. This was back in 2001. He's probably, like, eight months old at the time. Like, this is how much, like, Bow Wow was a huge star. That if he would come on, Bow Wow, Wow, yippee yo, my son, my son who is now about to be 22, would run to the TV and start dancing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Snoop didn't do that for you, Bow Wow. JD did, okay? So the disrespect is just too much. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Wow well, was on Twitter yesterday. Uh, he was suggesting that he regrets signing with Jermaine Dupri. Now, we all know he was signed to Jermaine Dupri in the late 90s. He dropped two albums, uh, movies, and a host of singles. So this is how it started. Somebody just said, hey, you know, you and JD make great chemistry. And Bow Wow just went off. Shad Moss went off. He says, me and JD have no work chemistry. I ain't worked with that boy in years. He do him and I do me. Snoop is the best thing that happened to me. If it wasn't for him, none of y'all would even know who I am. That's the only big homie I got. He gave me a chance. Everyone else was just add-ons to what we had started. I mean, if you know the Bow Wow origin story, then you know you know Snoop bought out Bow Wow on Arsenio Hall. But to say that without Snoop, we wouldn't know who he is, I don't think that's true. Because he got reintroduced to us later with So So Deaf and Jermaine Dupri. He said, I wish I stayed with Snoop, that's all. And somebody said, well, J.D.'s going to be mad. He said, well, he ain't my daddy. What well, he going to do? I mean, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I disagree with that one, Bow Wow. I mean, I, I mean, of course, it's your situation. But from the outside looking in, you and Jermaine Dupree have amazing work chemistry, and we wouldn't know who you are if it wasn't for Jermaine Dupree. Well, I think J.D. cultivated his career. A hundred percent. And I'm old enough to remember when Snoop Dogg bought out Bow Wow on Arsenio <laughs> Hall Show. Like, I right. remember that episode. But I didn't. I just knew you was a kid rapping. I Correct. didn't get introduced to Bow Wow. I didn't even know you was on the Snoop Dogg album still later on in life. I didn't realize that was you. I got introduced to Bow Wow from Jermaine Dupri and So So Def. And y'all, y'all do have amazing work chemistry, and you know that because when you are performing now, you're performing a lot of those songs. Correct. That you and JD did. Correct. And, so. a co- you know, and, and then, you know, a couple of years ago, he always says JD is like his dad and all that. So they probably going through some arguments. That's what they go back and forth and do. Mm-hmm. All right. So you guys just saw that video. And I'm glad that Charlemagne, you know, um, caught Bow Wow out and held his feet to the fire. And on top of that, remember when the whole Janet Jackson documentary came out and JD was in there and he kind of spoke about, you know, how, you know, he cheated on Janet. So, of course, Bow Wow decided to use that as the time to clown JD and say that JD fumbled the bag. And, you know, how do you mess up, you know, dating somebody like Janet? And he's clowning JD. So, y'all go ahead and check this out. JD, what were you thinking? You, like, I'm not going to put you. JD, what were you thinking? You, you had, you had it. You fumbled. What were you thinking? Man, no, JD is a GOAT. He is a GOAT. But I'm willing to risk it all today. JD don't need me and I don't need him. You know that. But I just want to know, what were you thinking? Every real want to know, what were you thinking? That's it. That's all we want to know. What the fuck were you thinking? Let me get a Sprite. Anybody want a burger? Anybody want a cheeseburger? You did what to who? How, how could you f*** that up? How could you How could you f*** that up? All the views going to go up now. No, I'm doing it. JD, how could you f*** that up? What were you thinking? <coughs> what were you thinking? What were you thinking? <laughs> How? How? Like most like, all right, if your girl work at 7 Eleven, you know what I'm saying? Rite Aid, Kroger, Publix, Ralph's, Vons. Okay, understand. Could you f this up? What were you thinking? 
What were you thinking? Then you get on TV and you snitch on yourself. What were you thinking? Man, I'm rich. I don't got to do shit. I don't got, listen, <laughs> I don't got to do nothing but have fun and live my life. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and I just find the whole thing comical that Bow Wow can call out JD for quote unquote fumbling the bag. Did JD mess up by cheating on Janet? Yeah, it was messed up. But if him and Janet are not over it, damn near 20 years later, why is Bow Wow throwing this in his face? Let's look at Bow Wow's dating track record, okay? You were with Sierra, and guess what? You cheated on her, and she was a decent woman. She's not married and living her best life. Um, Angela Simmons stayed. Is jockeying Bow Wow. You know, he's dated Angela Simmons off and on, you know, and Bow Wow never wiped her up or, you know, remained faithful to her. And then let's not forget about the girl Naomi or Naomi, whatever the girl's name is, the pretty one that was on Grown Up Hip Hop. They ended up putting hands on each other. At least JD doesn't have assault charges, okay? They were both beating on each other, putting hands on each other, disrespecting each other. So Bow Wow, you don't have a good track record yourself of treating women with respect. On top of that, let's not forget his baby's mother uh joy when she got pregnant bow wow denied it was his child took to the internet clownter refused to claim the baby then they finally took a dna test and it, he had to come back and say that you know uh shy was his daughter you know so bow wow he needs to stop at this point i think he's bitter he's angry he's upset bow wow was one of the biggest child stars ever he was doing movies there was nothing that snoop could have done for him the reason why he's upset and he keeps lashing out at JD is he's projecting, okay? He has not been popping ever since he's been an adult. And he looks at it like this is JD's fault, like JD still owes him something. And at this point, by while you're grown, you're a father of two, JD doesn't owe you anything. And it's sad that instead of being grateful for the opportunity that he once had, being a megastar, being one of the biggest child stars, black or white, on the planet, instead of being grateful for that opportunity, he keeps throwing tantrums and throwing shade at JD. And, and for people who have watched them come up and who watched his rise, the disrespect is too much. And I think that is why Brat went off the way she did. She's been watching him disrespect JD. Brat reveres JD. She loves JD. And she knows that if it was not for JD, she wouldn't have gotten as big as she's gotten. You know, the brat was a dope rapper, but it wasn't until she got signed to So So Death. That's when she really popped with, you know, with Functified and all the other music that she's done over the years. He was really a big catalyst in getting her out there. I see why she takes offense to what Bow Wow is doing and saying. Um, he's very disrespectful and he's been disrespectful for years towards JD, towards management. We've even seen him get into it with Deb Antney on the show, the brat. It's just been one thing after another. And, and at this point, when is Bow Wow going to look in the mirror and take personal responsibility for where his career is? You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't continue to blame JD because nobody's checking for him music-wise. You know, and I think the real reason why people don't fool with Bow Wow or care for Bow Wow is his attitude. And he needs to realize that if you're upset, this is your fault. His antics on social media have not helped him over the years. The way he talks to people, the way he treats women, the way he treated his baby's mother. He's just had a lot of issues. And then Grown Up Hip Hop didn't help him either. He's just as bratty, rude, and condescending on Grown Up Hip Hop. So he needs to be upset at himself for where his career is at and stop throwing shade and throwing darts at a man who genuinely went out his way to help him. So that is why I wrote what I wrote because again, it wasn't just this situation. It's been ongoing now for years. Okay. For years, he's been disrespecting this man and trying to, you know, throw shade and darts at him anytime he can. And at this point it's, it's a joke. And it's sad that in the industry, JD does not get the respect that he deserves. Nobody talks about him in the same way they talk about Dr. Dre, Diddy, and a bunch of other men who were producers, who were writers and things like that. And at this point, it's just really weird to me. I, I don't get it. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and feel free to share the video as well. Talk to y'all later. Later. Deuces.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.